Good afternoon, boss. Good afternoon. Well, it's the same day, different video, guys. I'm sorry, let me close this for a second. Carl was snacking on some. Same day, different video. Um, my rant went a little long in yesterday's video, so it ended up probably being like a 20 minute video. Yeah. A lot of talking, but so, we won't give you a rant in this one. We're gonna get some mulch done. I'm gonna load up the truck with mulch and you're gonna mulch the beds. Yep. I mean, I guess for now you're gonna have to. I'll go over and um, clean out some, see what I can do. Like, yeah, and maybe go and touch up the beds. We got heavy rain the okay. other day, mm -hmm. and some of the mulch we put in moved, settled a little. Um, so we're going to touch it up a little because there was a lot of thicker mulch under that that we broke up. So Well, and it's quite a steep. Yeah, they so. put way too much of a steep hill in there, but... That's all right. I'll we go made it fix look good. It. Yeah. So yeah, you load that up. I'm. I mean, you load that up. Yeah. I'm gonna load that up onto our new thing we got, and then Rachel's gonna go do that, and then check out some other beds that you might just have to clean a little bit. Okay. Um, before I can dump mulch into them. I think that maybe I have to go cut some lilies up there anyway. Okay. So. Sounds like a plan. Oh, and I gotta bring the combi back tomorrow oh, yeah. to cut because we can't do the burning bushes yet. Oh yeah. Okay. So text me that. Okay. So we're going to get out and get some of this done, guys, and see. We'll actually see how much we can get done. First load in. I'm going to take over to Rachel and give her some mulch. So we're done this bed over here. Rachel will come in and blow the sidewalk off some so it looks better. She's working on the tree ring. And I'll take you guys up here where I'm working on cleaning out this bed, and getting more mulch off. And then I think after that, we're gonna load the truck up with all the debris. I know. Well, and you're going to talk to him about us pulling that up some, right? Yeah. Because that was just planted. and well, I'm just going to pull it up. You're just going to pull it up. Look, guys. It's wow. That's ridiculous. Now. All extra mulch. I'm going to clean this bed up. The rocks are fine. Yeah, the rocks were kind of buried. And this is why you have to properly. You know what you did, right? There used to be a tree here. Remember? Oh. They ground it down and just piled all the wood chips into a big pile. Oh. Look. Wow. 
This will make good compost though. That's crazy. But it's like old stuff and like, I don't know, man. Okay, I'm going to help him get some more of like, see, we're going to get the bigger stuff today. And yes, we have a little haul thing down so that when... No way, I can all have to unload it like that. Yeah, the car only needs it easier. I thought I was going to have to go back <laughs> and get my phone. So I had his phone in my pocket and I completely forgot it was I'm in like, my pocket. did you get my phone? She's like, I don't have your phone. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait a minute, I do. <laughs> so we got about three yards of mulch moved. I mean, we were only there for an hour and 35 minutes, I think. I'd have to look at it. We just went there to, because yeah. it was late when we got there. So we got three yards of mulch moved almost. We cleaned out some more of the beds, brought some grass back. That little tool, if you guys seen yesterday's video, that little thing we hooked on the the bumper what is it called them a haul and a load and haul or something yeah load and load haul and, it's from harbor freight and one of our subscribers do you remember who no gs lawn or something oh it might have been i'll have to check and see um yeah we'll have to check but thank you very much yeah. for you know who you are yeah thank you for um mentioning that was one that. of them suggestions that was productive and, yeah and, and we appreciate it and yeah. we appreciate that you know and even the good idea about like um just dumping it right onto the tarp that actually we carl and i were talking and we figured that that would be the easiest way to mulch um the new plantings that we're doing the the wall yeah the wall you know there's no other way to get like a wheelbarrow up there i guess we could like make a ramp make a ramp up, but, but what's the point it's you know, double ground pine we can lift it up over to the wall right so we were gonna um just put it onto a tarp and drag it over there but now we don't crank even it. yeah it all we have to do right is off. crank it pull it over unload it crank it again so, so once again you. that was a good suggestion yeah. and and the guys who were telling me to get a bobcat eventually being nice about it we are gonna get one yeah we're, we're waiting until we we need to buy a house first we're we've been renting in Asheville for 12 years yeah and that's a lot of thrown away money yeah and and not because we wanted to when we moved here there was a situation when we moved here and yeah. finances weren't the best because of the recession so we couldn't help it it's not like we could get all our equipment and one year we no to... again you know we've done this all by ourselves we built this business from nothing we had no clients okay. when we moved we'll say here. we built this business from a bankruptcy back in 2008 when the recession hit we did so so if you guys want to learn more about that i am going to be writing a book <laughs> yeah and um, and since then we've been doing really good every year we do increase our prices um you have to i mean to make a good profit and we don't undercharge for any of our services if you guys have been watching us for a while we always tell you to get your money's worth just because guys aren't using big equipment doesn't mean that they're charging so cheap for jobs that they can't get that equipment we have other reasons we do things different everybody does things different yeah so but i we do know that eventually we need equipment it's just right right now is but like ray but... said i don't want to have a piece of equipment sit in my yard if we're mowing four days a week True. and we're not using that equipment right but when we buy a house we, we know it's it different we're farming yeah. we're gonna have to fill boxes and raise beds and so if you guys have been watching us for any amount of time um you do know that our plan our goal is to open a nursery slash farm mm -hmm. we want a place where people can come and enjoy Enjoy with their children um our beautiful farm yeah and then people can get landscape plants there vegetables there it's very difficult to find good nutritious um fruits and vegetables around here so if we can combine um the a two with that yeah and have a market out front that would be awesome and then we wouldn't we'll be phasing we'll always be doing landscape it's fun yeah. to do landscaping but so we are in the phasing um the the phasing growth 
I guess, yeah. right now, where we are trying to phase out so much mowing. There was a point in time where we had 75 to 90 clients that we were mowing. And, and we are not afraid to invest. One year we invested, what, 30000 into two mowers and then an aerator. Mm -hmm. So we're not afraid to invest. We invest when it's right for us. Right. When we're, yes. Yeah. When it's right for like us. Like the stand-on aerator. We've rented every year for three years to stand on. Then it became an issue of when we could get it. And then Rachel's like, wait, we're aerating 40 yards now. It's yeah. worth it to buy a stand-on aerator. And then ever since then, we've used it. We've let our friends use it that are in the business. And that is a piece of equipment that does sit, sit most year. of the time. But... That month of September is our biggest month. So much money for wow. us. So yeah. Well, hopefully you like that video. We didn't get much done in this video. We knew it was going to be a short one, so we talked at the end. So. Yeah. So, um, but we do appreciate you guys and want to know how are what are you guys doing for mulch this year? Yeah. Are you going to be buying bags? Are you going to be buying, um, you know, have it delivered from a mulch yard just remember 13 bags equals about one yard of mulch yeah so so if you want to do we just actually had a client ask us like oh, so if we were doing bags on this job we figured out it would be 975 bags of mulch that would have been crazy 975 bags of mulch yeah Ooh, so that's a lot of mulch there. definitely so. so guys please like comment and subscribe and be happy or at least try have a good night have a good night